Okay, so we're going to shave Jaeger's face today. He's pretty hairy, as you can see. He's even got some nice food crumbs in there. <laughs> um, since he is so long and he's a light-colored dog, I'm going to do a 15 just because I let it get out of control. Um, he had a bad experience with um, a handler burning his face really bad, so you're going to get to see a dog that isn't necessarily fond of his face. Um, we've done this every week since he was a baby baby, but just after being burnt so badly, he um, just hasn't gotten over it. So you'll get to see me work around um, his anxiety. How, how do you make sure you don't burn him again? Um, you can burn a dog very easily by A, going too short when they're overgrown like this and their skin is not accustomed to having it shaved regularly. Um, you can burn them with a hot blade. So if you're shaving for a while, this actually gets very hot. So what I like to do is I will hold my clipper on my sensitive inner arm and if it feels warm, then it's hot. So you can you know, tell by that. And you can also, with a dirty blade, you can also end up doing it or digging in really hard on their face. Okay. So you want to avoid that, of course, because that's going to create a bad experience. Um, so one of the questions that I was asked was, how do you know on the inner ear and things like that where to draw your line? So on the poodle top knot, you're going to come from the corner of the eye to the edge of the ear. I personally, like there's a lot of different styles, but my personal um, thing, which you'll see as soon as I get it shaved, but I like to shave out this here and then make a nice line from his ear canal down into his V, which I'll explain the V here in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start setting in this line and show you how I do up here on the face. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna do a 15 just because he is fuzzy and I don't wanna risk burning him again. So come over here and I'm using the wall Breveras. So I'll start very carefully around his little ear canal. It's an easy place to get. So I just carefully skim over that. Now, you don't wanna hold the ear up. See how that moves that line? So when I hold his ear back, I hold it straight back as to you know, protect this line that I'm going to be shaving. And he is dirty. I don't prefer to shave a dirty dog, but um, time was not permitting. <laughs> so we're shaving a dirty dog. So I'm not digging in, I'm just very careful, and you see he's, he's not happy, so I just kind of work with him. I let him, you know, move around a little bit. And I come right to the edge of that, of his eye. So then when I get to the edge of his eye here, there's these hairs that are really hard to get. So what I'll do is I'll pull his little, with my thumb, I'll pull his little eye down while I'm holding this hair up out of the way, and then I'm gonna come very carefully toward his eye. Now, if you have a dog that's gonna jerk, and I know him, he's my dog, so I know that he knows what I'm doing. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing this on a jumpy dog. I would just come down and not get it as clean. Um, so then I'll get right there in the corner of the eye. So now on the front of the nose here, in between his eyes, you want a straight line from the corner of the eye to corner of the eye. This is also something that varies from style to style. You will see some people prefer a V, um, I come from a showing background, so I don't prefer a V just because that's how you get that nice show bubble. So I will lay my clippers and come down. The bridge of his nose and I'm just gently holding. See, he's he doesn't want to do it, but he's he's not a terrible boy. He's just had a bad experience. So then you get these cantankerous little nose whiskers. So. I'll come backwards on the top here. You want to be careful around the nose just because you see that the way their nostril is and it'd be really easy to get that clipper and, and catch their little nose. So be mindful of that when you're coming around their nose. So then I'll come across here, being careful of his little nose. So now the lips was another question that I had, how to safely get around the lips because you know they're wiggly and moving and, and when the dog is fighting, of course, especially. So I like to, I'll block his face with my arm and I'll pull with my thumb. That way he has limited escape routes, which limits um, chances that you're gonna nick them. So if you look closely here, you can see uh, remnants of his burn scars, mm -hmm. which is why he is a timid little fellow. 
good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, so now the bottom lip, it's a little more fun when they don't like it, but I like to stick my thumb in here and pull this tight. So with that tight, I'm not coming across his lip because that'll scrape that lip. I'm coming underneath still. Then you can get into that flu carefully and up onto the, the under jaw. So then I'll pull his little lips up and very carefully get these little mouth whiskers here. You wanna watch tongues too. If they lick a lot, make sure that you know where their tongue is so that you can stop and not clip their tongue. So to figure out where to set your V, can you stand up? Good boy. You want them to be standing so that you can kind of see the angles of their body. So what I do is I feel and where that drops off, you want to go right above where it drops off. So he's nice and short, so hopefully you can see where the drop off is. This is his, the point of his chest here, so we want to stop before we give him a U neck. So I know that right here is where I want to stop. So to set my V, I'm going to take my clipper from the middle and I'm going to come up, just setting this bottom of the V here and then come up. So now I have the base of my V set and now I'm going to get this. A lot of dogs are more flappy than this, so I'll try to show you tricks. Um, the farther you get their head up, the tighter it's gonna pull this and the less likely it's gonna be for you to grab a skin flap. Um, some dogs don't like you holding their head up. You can see he's a little bit resistant. He's not for sure that he wants me to do that. So you can also kind of pull it to the side as soon as you get it as high up as they'll let you. Um, since he will let me, I'm gonna go ahead and put his little chin up and then where the hair is reversed, I'm gonna come back down. Not going too fast, because then the faster you go, the easier it's gonna to be to make a mistake and to accidentally get them. I'll just go ahead and get all this chin while I'm under here. Okay, so now it comes to, from the V to the ear. So again, I pull his ear around backwards. If they don't have this much hair, I'll hold the ear leather. So from here, I'm just going to make a line into my V. So then I'll clean up my line. And if they have looser skin, how he has looser skin, once you set that line, you can pull it tighter and just make sure you don't go past your line. It's like coloring in the line. It is. So there you have half a clean face. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it stops for this video so that we can get you a different dog and show you on a different dog. Good boy, Jaeger. So this is Hubble. He's gonna be our second model. <laughs> he has um, looser lips, so you'll get to see um, on his looser lips and he's got a little bit, a, a tiny bit looser of a neck. So hopefully that'll give you guys um, kind of a, you can watch how I do it. I'm not gonna talk as much in this one and I'm just gonna kind of show you from actions. Okay. This is a this would be a good example to show if they have a short top knot as well instead of a tied up one. True. Hubble's mummy loves him more and he didn't go quite as long as mine. He likes to do this tight lip thing. Well, there's some, special boy. some spit for you. <laughs> I 
those love fluffy you, lips. I love you, Hubble. You're such a good boy. Don't mind my lines. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, we should have left him some underjaw. It's okay, that's the next lesson. I'm sorry, Hubble. Nobody's ever going to watch this, Hubble, don't worry. <laughs> I do want to touch on one more thing um, before calling this quits. One of the styles that I have seen um, is to come down a lot wider on the neck and, and down and sometimes even into a big U. Um, that is certainly a style that you see out there. Um, like I said, my, my experience comes from show background, so that's why I choose to put the lines where I put them because that's how I was taught. Um, but everybody has their own methods. This is just what works for me.